here. We are back at the premier, the premier high school basketball tournament in the nation. The Chick-fil-A Classic in Columbia, South Carolina at Richland Northeast High School. How are you doing? I am Sylvester Williams. I am joined by Coach Anton Benin, and I am ready for some basketball action. How you doing, Anton? I'm doing great, man. You just pumped me up to the full of you. Man, I, I'm excited, Anton. I am excited, Coach. We have a great one to start off the evening. We have the Spring Valley Vikings taking on the host team, the Richland Northeast Cavaliers. The Richland Northeast Cavaliers, they will be coached by former South University of South Carolina great Aaron Lucas. The Spring Valley Vikings will be coached by former University of South Carolina great Perry Dozier. You're right, you're right. Two USC coaches going at it, huh? Two Gamecocks going at it. Well, this will be game number one tonight in the main gym. Game number one, the Cavaliers taking on the Vikings. I'm ready. Anton, are you ready? Man, I'm ready for it, man. It's basketball time at the Chick-fil-A. Bas you know, basketball season does not start for me until the Chick-fil-A Classic starts. So now, basketball season has started. We're ready for the tip-off. We've had the national anthem. We've had the player introductions. You've met me. You've met Anton. It's game time. Game time, sir. It's game time. Game time, Jake. Joined in the booth tonight, Jacob Benning. He'll be handling everything. If anything goes wrong, blame it on Jacob Benning. <laughs> also, Marcus Coleman. Marcus will be in the booth tonight. We'll get his two cents every once in a while. Uh-oh, the lights are on. The lights are on. It is game time. Opening tip, the Yale signee, he will win the tip. It'll be corralled in and brought down. We'll start it off. D'Angelo Ward will bring it up court. Ward over to Hopper. They'll swing it around. Trying to set up the backside alley. No good. Mr. Alex Caldwell, sophomore point guard. That's a tough point guard there. Alex Caldwell, young kid. Young kid, Alex Caldwell. Young kid, Mr. Caldwell. Caldwell is the son of Coach Caldwell, Precious Caldwell. Oh, yeah. All-time leading scorer at Claflin University. Oh. oh, turnover. Hopper will get in on that steal. Spring Valley will have it 0-0. Perry Dozier's team will work it around. Move it around. The, move it around. 2-3 zone, I think. That's 2-3 zone out there, Yeah, time. we got 2-3 zone by the Cavaliers. Now, the Cavaliers uh, basketball program is getting back in shape now with Aaron Lucas back in his form. Hopper puts it in for two. Spring Valley basket by Noah Hartman. Oh, Jumper, oh, no good. Brockerton. Spring Valley pushes it up. In that corner, Spring Valley are working around, trying to go oh, long three ball, top of the key, no good. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be Spring Valley ball. Those Vikings, nobody afraid to shoot that outside shot. Nobody at all, not with them Vikings. Caldwell to get it across the timeline. Like, like Spring Valley um, has a 1-3-1 defense going here. 1-3-1 one, one zone. Good pass. And that's how you attack the 1-3-1. One, one. You pass the ball around and find the easy play. Bruno from outside. The big man has range. And no lockout. I think, Ton, that's one of the difficulties when you play that zone defense. Yeah, exactly. Finding a man to box out. You're exactly right, Sly. Like I was saying before, you know, Northeast had been down for a couple of years here, for the last two years, but Aaron Lucas has really brought this program back to existence in the um, Columbia area. They're ranked number three in 3A. Yeah, they're a 3A school now. Northeast has been a 4A school for since the beginning of the, <laughs> the beginning of time. Exactly. A lot of population growth. Oh, air ball. Fighting over the ball down there. Scrum for it. Jump ball. Jump ball. Derek Polk tried to rip it out of there. 6'6 six, six, sophomore. Now it is basketball. And they have Bruner down at 6'9. I remember playing against a 6'9 guy in high school. 
<laughs> a little different. A bit different. Is that one of those inflated sizes, Tom? It's a bit different. <laughs> but I was 6'1 in high school. Hey, there you go. I shrunk in college. <laughs> I was 6'120. I mean, 180. <laughs> Out of bounds, it'll be Spring Valley ball. Score 2-2. Two -two. Well, in this Chick-fil-A classic, we'll have 20-minute um, halves. Mm -hmm. No quarters, no quarter plays, just 20-minute halves. A lot of ball games to get in. Travel in the corner. That's the infamous travel call on that false step. That false step is getting all these kids these years, man. Hey, kids <laughs> got to understand, you set that pivot foot, then you dribble you before dribble. you walk. <laughs> <laughs> got to put the ball down first, right? Got to put the ball on the ground. We got the younger Bruner in the game now. Young Bruner, young freshman. Yep. They'll send that backcourt. Backcourt violation, ref all on top of it. This is a matchup I kind of want to see two young guys. Oh, yeah. Number oh, yeah. one, um, Jordan. Jordan Bruner take, I'm sorry, Tommy Bruner. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy yeah. Bruner taking on Alex Caldwell. I, I love to see these two guys match up. Hopefully they'll break out of that zone defense. So I can see these two young fellas go I don't at think it. they're going to break out of it until they have to. Bruner. Knocks down that soft jumper from that's the free throw line. Toner over Caldwell trying to push it up court. No. They'll turn it right back over. Like I say, I think the, the uh, um, Jordan Bruno, he, he needs to go ahead and get himself implemented in the game, get himself and get his name out there. I know he's already signed, but he needs to be one of the top players in the chip play. Needs to be one of the top one of the top guys you talk about after you leave the chip play on Tuesday. You remember the kid Jordan Bruner? Exactly. Corner three. Knock it down, young man. James Fuller Davis. The junior. Nice touch on that three pointer. JFD knocking it down. There you go. Long Deep three point. ball. No good. Gotta box out. They'll They'll push push it up it. court. Two on one, held it a little late, lays it up. JFD with another one. And he's pushing it back up, number 12. And sending it right back at him. D'Angelo Ward. D'Angelo Ward with the bucket. And that's oh. right back at him. JFD. Oh. Full, full of Davis, much. not afraid to go to the hole. That might be one of your names this year, man, JFD. JFD, <laughs> my all-name team, as, as, as we try to do these past couple of years, get an all-name team. A lot of guys out there. Coach, yeah, the animated Coach Lucas over Coach there. Coach Aaron Lucas <laughs> showing some of that spirit over there on yes, that sir. side of the line. <laughs> it's good seeing Lucas back over here at Northeast, though. It, the years we came through high school and Lucas being over here, that's what you heard. Lucas and Corey Ward. Yes, sir, Aaron Lucas, local legend on this side of town, <laughs> according to him, if you ask him. Yes, Aaron sir. Lucas, one of the great point guards to come out of Richmond Northeast. A great, well, he played shooting guard. Played. Yeah, shooting guard. Corey Ward was the point guard. Yeah. Corey Ward was the point guard. One big leg, one little leg. Yes, sir, <laughs> Mr. Corey Wolf. <laughs> Give you a little bit of history lesson in Columbia, Bas Columbia area basketball. All right. Northeast checking it in to Brockerton. They're going to move it around. JFD has it back to number zero, one, Nigel Chaney. One thing I think with Lucas, well, they want to kind of break out of that zone. They're not going to break out. Caldwell, I love the way he handles the ball. He'll give it up. No good. JFD, Johnny on the spot right there with the ball. Corner shot again by Nigel. Oh. Harper will pull it out and push it up court. Oh, oh. good tip. Quick hands by Mr. Cheney. He'll knock it out of bounds. One of the players for Northeast that I was really interested in seeing was Marquise Riley, number Riley, number 23. Yeah. He has a broke wrist. He won't be playing tonight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's one of the kids you probably talk about after. Nice layup. 
After the tournament, you probably talked about a couple of his dunks. That kid plays above the rim. Oh, get it out of here. They're going to call a charge. Way to step up, put your body on the line right there. Who's that? Get in the wall. Get the wall, putting his body on the line, taking that charge. Well, I don't know if he put his body on the line, you know. <laughs> Alex Caldwell might weigh about 120 yeah, pounds. Exactly. <laughs> Now, Kendall Wall is one of those kids in Spring Valley, though. That's that glue player. He's probably going to make some plays today. That, that's that garbage player. Oh, tried to feed the big yeah. man. No good. Yeah. That's a tough, tough um, lick there for Spring Valley. They, they have to get the game going in their, their, their path because right now they're in, in a downswing right now. Uh, from the games they played, they've lost to Irmo pretty bad twice. And Turnover in the corner. Oh, way to hustle, Fuller Davis coming down and picking his pocket. Oh, might have got away with the travel in the corner. <laughs> <It> might have. <laughs> Oh, good move. Nice fancy dribbling. And he's the, oh, oh get no. out of here. Uh, that's what happened when you go down there with yeah. the big boy. Got to go up strong. Bruno wanted none of that. Good, good pass. pass. By. Got to finish it. Uh. And one. And one. Nice touch. Nice touch pass by the big man right there. Great court that's awareness. Now, if you want to get some um, old Columbia that history, the Spring Valley Northeast game was one of the games you had to get to early. Yes. You had to get to this game early if you wanted to get in. You know, back in the, the early, the late, late 90s, early 90s also. Mm -hmm. uh, you had to get to this game early. And Spring Valley Northeast is a huge rivalry. For them to have a game going in Chick-fil-A right now, it's, it's great. Great. Tradition field. Tradition field program. Oh. Travel. Rolling around over the floor looking for the foul. Yeah, you got to get on the floor, though. That's a good play. Number 41, Hustle play. But you know, a lot of a lot of tradition yeah. field over in these Cavaliers. We talked about Aaron Lucas. Mm -hmm. Talked about Aaron Lucas. You have uh, Nicky Davis. Yeah. He went Nikki to Davis. Arkansas. Yes, sir. Early 90s player mm -hmm. for Richland Northeast. Um, I guess the mid 2000s, early 2000s, you had uh, Lucas Hargrove. Yes, went to Lewis Arbor. Hargrove. Yes, sir. A good floater. Good floater to drop it in. Nigel Chaney. Mm -hmm. He's one of those solid players for Northeast also. One of the senior leaders on the team. Scores 11-9. 11-9. Spring Valley on top. Vikings on top of the Cavaliers. Yeah, Chaney's one of those solid players for, for Northeast. Been playing since his freshman year. And they're out and running. Ah, right, got to catch the ball too, man. Good rebound. JFD. Davis will have it in the corner, and they'll move it around. Caldwell stepped oh, on the line. Oh. Stepped on the line. Got to have a little bit of court awareness out here. Got to know where you at. Got to have it. Spring Valley brings it up to number five, Robert Grant. Down to 24. Down to old Jordan Bruner. No, I'm sorry, Tommy Bruner. Got to get the Bruners together. Got to get them together. Well, <laughs> you got the big one and the little one. Yeah, exactly. They'll say the little one misses. <laughs> oh, nice steal, Kendall that's, Wall. That's that Kendall Wall kid, I told you. That's and that's what he Kendall does. Wall. He does that, those, those intangibles. He has the intangibles that make it work. Caldwell, I like the fearlessness out of this young kid. Oh, yeah. Caldwell will take it to the hole if he has it. He's always on the attack. He's probably one of the best young guards we got in the city right now. He's he's going to be one of those names you hear in senior year. Got to go see that Caldwell kid. He'll knock down the free throw. Makes it look easy. Number 33. I've been good into the RD lineup. Nice crowd coming in here. First night, Chick-fil-A. First night, the line wrapped around the door. <laughs> People still, still in line waiting. Waiting, trying to get in this place. Everybody wants to see. Oh, second free throw, good. Everybody wants to see this uh, Spring Valley Northeast and the gang following us. Mm -hmm. Mullins taking on Hammond. Two North Carolina signees going at it. Two future teammates, uh, Jalik Felton 
and Seventh Woods will be going at it. I'm kind of um, at on for that one because I'm a Tar Heel fan. I want to see what we look like. I'm not a Tar Heel <laughs> fan. I cannot <laughs> tell you a lie. I am a Tar Heel fan. Chaney brings it down, kicks it to Caldwell. Yeah, Caldwell, yeah. look at that form. Caldwell knocks it down. Nice, that was a pretty, pretty shot. Man. Nice, pretty shot. Nice, pretty shot. In, in rhythm. That's an in rhythm shot. Oh, too hot to handle trying to give it up. Turnover, and looks like Bruner will come back in the game. Richmond Northeast took the lead, one point lead. Now Bruner comes back in. Number 23, George Bruner back in the Spring Valley lineup. Hey, this Chick fil A class, I can't ball. believe it's already to his 14th year. It just seems like it was just yesterday. <laughs> I remember coming out here, it was an 18, a 18 tournament. Backcourt, backcourt. Yeah, exactly. You know, it was just a, a small tournament, but you gotta, you know, just, just the job that this tournament has done, bringing in the talent. Exactly. You know, we're gonna have, you know, you have future NBA players out here in this tournament, every future, college star. Future NBA MVPs. MVPs, <laughs> no good. With that a Steph Curry. Steph Curry, I like to tell everyone I called him first. <laughs> I saw him when he was a six foot, 98 pound, if that. Came in and shocked the world, his team out of Charlotte. Charlotte yes, Christian, sir. I think, shocked everybody and won the tournament their first year. Yes, yeah. sir. As a matter of fact, they won it back to back. Caldwell going to the whole stone. Oh, give it on the floor. No continuation yet. Not yet, not yet. Got not a couple yet. of years for that one. Got a couple of years uh, where you can get that continuation. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've been watching the Josh Smiths and the Josh White Howard. The, the <laughs> White, you know, it. You, you love the big time talent that has came here. Yes, sir. I remember that uh, one year, Jody Meeks. I don't Jody know if you Meeks, remember the exactly. Kentucky player played for LA for a little while. He put on a show. Yep. When he played out of Norcross High School. And you got the local guys here, uh, Mike Jones from LR. Mike Jones, yeah. a scoring machine scoring out of Lower Richland. Yes, sir. Yeah, 14 years, man. It's been a great tournament. 14 years. And right now we have Spring Valley and Northeast. Starting it off. Way to kick it off over here in the main gym. Corner three. Oh, it's on, in and out. Scrappy oh, effort for right there, Mr. Garner. Chaney, nice move yes, in the lane. Oh, Chaney. And then, oh, good steal from Brockerton. They'll push it up. Chaney will have it. Chaney stops. Thanks ah, about it, Gary. Carry. Now that Brock the kid, I like that Brock the kid because I coached him in rec ball. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that kid in, in, in when he was probably fifth grade. <sighs> Got a timeout. Timeout on the field. I mean, timeout on the court. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Trying to break out of football. I said timeout on the field. Cal Stimble had 30 seconds to put on the Chick-fil-A Cal shoes, then make it to the free throw line to make as many shots as they can before the buzzer. The one that makes the most shots will win a Chick-fil-A catering pack, which includes a small Chick-fil-A nugget tray, a cookie tray, and a gallon of iced tea. Here live, live action here at Richland Northeast High School at the Chick-fil-A Classic. Spring Valley down by three. Oh, over the back, Bruno oh, tried to tip it call. to his man. Tough call. Hey, you, you know that that's that's a call. You know, I kind of kind of get a crooked eye on that yeah, guy, yeah, and he yeah. clearly jumped over the kid yeah, and tapped might, tapped it back. Might well swallow that with Yeah, but it was called it even though. Tried to force on the pass board. on the inside. Oh, nice steal. <laughs> Full of Davis. He's just always around. GFD all love, over the court. I love watching uh, Luke over there. He's animated, man. He, he's in the game. <laughs> Coach, Coach Lucas is in the game. Hey, I can swear I get a 35 note league math. I'm picking Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm not going to play in defense. You know. Yeah, it's 35 and older, we don't play defense here. <laughs> oh, and one. And one. Nice guy, Wall. Kim the Wall. Nice guy, Wall, man. Like I tell you, he, 
He's going to be around the ball somewhere. Well, on James Coley Davis. That is his first team sport. One shot to wall. Wall, no good. Oh, rebound. Lay in, good. good solid athletic J move there. Javondi Myers. Yeah, that's a good athletic move there, buddy. Chaney will kick it over to the side. JFD, no good. Oh, nice oh. rebound. Oh. <laughs> Jordan Bruner is long. You got to get those up quick. Steal, Gardner on it. Got to go strong. Oh. <laughs> oh, he gone foul. Didn't see it. <laughs> now, let's see who he makes that call on. That's on Bruner. He called it on Bruno. Well, uh, you know, it, uh, well, it you was know. called. It was called. It was called. It's a call. It's a call. <laughs> That's it's why I tell my kids, man, don't look back at that ref. He, he blew the whistle. He blew the whistle. <laughs> he blew the whistle. Let your coach do the yes, talking. Sir. Hey, coach Doge is definitely over there talking. Right? Got to. <laughs> Got to. And the assistant coach is talking. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody talking to the coach. Hey. <laughs> I'll be talking to the ref. That was, that was a tough one there. Well, they say the ball don't lie. Yeah, well. They say the ball don't lie. That's one of my favorite sayings on the playground. The yes, sir. Yeah, 17-16 game, 527 left in the first half. Let's and we see got what, see what Spring Valley does with this one-point lead. Trying to move it around. Nice spin move. No good, oh. good follow by Harper. Go Harper. Caldwell steady pushing it up court. Gardner from the corner. Gardner's going to hit one of these. He's going, yeah, low. it looked good. Charge. Oh, that, go, go around him. Go around him. Yes, nice sir, move. move. Nice yeah. move, D'Angelo Ward. And there they go Caldwell. Back. Caldwell back at him. Oh, oh missed it. And Caldwell, pushing again. Caldwell engine is always on go. No good. Follow that guy wall. There's wall. that guy wall. Wall is just always there. <laughs> Johnny on the spot, like you say. Johnny on the spot. <laughs> I don't know where he has to be, but he's always there. <laughs> exactly. Kendall Wall. Yeah, I think Luke needed that time out there. They was getting out of out of control. Went yeah. from a one point game, now what? Seven point game now? Seven point game. Great math skills. Yeah, six, six unanswered real quick. Showing that Richland District 1 education. Hey, man, right there. I, I took Miss Williams. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations to Miss Williams, yes, math, yes. math teacher at Columbia High over there. I took Miss Nash. You took Miss Nash. Miss Nash, my yeah. math teacher Ms. at Williams Columbia High. was 102 High. years old when I took her. <laughs> I she's said, still kicking. Still kicking. Still moving around. There's one of the little Chick-fil-A cows running around. <laughs> All right. I tell you, Christmas don't start till Chick-fil-A. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's officially the holiday season now that we're here at the Chick-fil-A yeah. Classic. Black Friday is nothing. No. Chick-fil-A Classic starts the, the holiday season. I don't start my Christmas shopping the Chick-fil-A Classic comes. <laughs> Now, you can shop for me anytime you want. Exactly. Caldwell gets it across the timeline. Caldwell turns it over. The wall. Four on one fast. He got away with a travel. <laughs> he did not get away with a travel. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he did. <laughs> Harper shows a lot of great athleticism, but yes, he has he to does. remember the first part of the <laughs> fast break. Put the break. ball down first. Hard to do a one three one. Hard to dribble through a one three one. They put the full court pressure on them too. See, right now when you have a guy like Caldwell whose engine is always at a hundred, you know, time to slow it up. Yep. Slow it up. See what you got. Davis from the corner. JFD. Knocking it down. Needed that, needed that one real big. They'll move it around, three ball, no good. Yeah, Shot again, with the two rebound. on one break. Got to finish, oh, oh he got to finish. Fuller had to 
Fuller Davis had the little butterfingers on that one. Kendall Wall got away with the travel, and he puts it in. Kendall Wall. Referee says he was juggling it. <laughs> Looks like that State Farm commercial. Fuller Davis <laughs> has no conscience over there and launches it from the corner. Oh, oh nice follow. But, you know, a, a lot of teams, they take the identity of their coach. Yeah, exactly. And now this Richard and Northeast team, you see, there's nobody on the team afraid. Exactly. <laughs> afraid to shoot. There you <laughs> go. Look at that. Right there. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about, hey. about Aaron Lucas, he was not afraid to shoot. Not afraid at all to put it up. And it's something I say they take the personality of their coach. All of them go 100, 100 miles an hour. Exactly fast right. breaking, moving. And, you know, that's one thing that kind of surprises me, though, about this Spring Valley team. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a Coach Perry Dozier, dominant uh, so post player in exactly. Columbia. Exactly. Uh, at USC, but he has a team full of players who don't mind shooting from the outside. <laughs> well, I haven't that, seen him run a post play yet. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised yeah, on that one. I'm thinking that Jordan must be want to be a uh, wing guy. The there you go. You he might play on the wing in the Ivy League up there. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, probably wouldn't make it on Green Forest. Yeah. <laughs> Green, Green Giants. Green Forest, another team we'll be seeing later on in this uh, Chick-fil-A Classic. Now those guys get the, um, the all-airport team. Yes, sir. They walk through the airport, you think you're watching the uh <laughs> you think you might be watching the Lakers <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Green Forest team out of Atlanta, state runner up last year in the uh Siegel A Private uh, Ball in Georgia. They also won the national division of the Chick-fil-A Classic last year. They won the Carolina Showcase. They won that side of the tournament. Uh team full team that has six players on the team taller than 6'8". Exactly. All airport team, like I said. <laughs> they look good getting off the bus. Yes, sir. Caldwell launches, no good, shoots a strong. Travel on the inside. Mr. Polk, Polk 6'6", six, six, sophomore. Big frame kid, yeah, man. I, li frame. I like his yeah. frame, you know, frame. He's a sophomore. They get a lot of unforced turnovers, though. Northeast, they got to get – Get a control of that unforced turnover. Good charge call, though. Got to put that off arm down. So foul Northeast has to get a handle of those unforced turnovers. Turn. Those unforced turnovers will steal you in the game. A forced turnover is different than an unforced turnover. We're at the Chick-fil-A Classic here. Smell the Chick-fil-A burgers beside me. Jacob bringing food in the booth and not sharing. <laughs> They're going to put him out. Chick-fil-A Classic, oh, what a tournament they put on every year. Yeah, looking good pressure defense out there by Spring Valley. Caldwell to kick it off to Garner. Garner pump fake, goes to the hole, dishes it off. Spin on out, no good. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Amon good. Hard for Northeast to get any inside presence right now, though. Everything has been on the perimeter. And, you know, and, that, and that's the, the major dilemma when you play a team that's playing that 1-3-1 one, one zone. You know, how do you beat the zone? Do you, do you shoot over the top of the zone? Or you try to force the inside? Me being a coach, I'm going to try to get my presence inside first. Okay. You got to get your presence inside first. If you can't get it inside, that's your, then you can adjust from there. But you want to work from inside out. Got to see if you can get somebody in foul trouble. And Bruno right now is going with two fouls right now. Minute 41, I would try to get his third right now. I try to do a pump fake, get him in there. Pump fake, get him fake. in there. He's going to try to block you. Spring Valley are working around the perimeter, trying to figure out that Richland Northeast 2 3 zone. There's Bruner, step back. Mm, tough shot, Bruner. And pushing the rock, Caldwell, pat, Caldwell. pat. See, I, I like Caldwell. He's, he's just going to the basket, hoping for the foul. Exactly. Oh, push off. Yep, yes, got sir. Him again. You know, 
I like what Caldwell does. Caldwell is, is, is constantly attacking the back. He's attacking, but he has to finish him. Got to finish. Got to come finish. close to finish him. Got to finish him. You know, it's, it's all right. Had a Hammond coach just walked by us. Yes, He's sir. getting ready. Hammond will be taking on Mullins next matchup tonight. But, yeah, like I was saying, you know, if, if, if you're going to attack the basket, you, you got to finish some of that. Yes, sir. You got to try to finish. Not just looking for the foul. Mm -hmm. That 1-3-1 one, one press they got, they got to get some high post presence. They got to get a high-low going somewhere. Nice yeah, floater. Nice Shaney. Shaney floats it in there. Oh, give me the cookies. <laughs> Here we go, Cartwell. Oh, Caldwell, never, gotta never. finish that one. And you know what I didn't like? He tried to come across the middle and lay it up with his right hand. He's unconscious. He's an unconscious shooter. Yeah, that, <laughs> he, he has a very short memory. <laughs> has a very short yes, memory. Sir. He'll put it back up. But you know, he did He did a 12 seconds to go. We'll talk about it after these 10 9. We'll talk about yeah. it at the half. Yes, sir. Ooh. No good. Well, here we are at the end of the first half. The score, 27-22. Spring Valley on top. Here at the Chick-fil-A Classic, we're going to try to catch these coaches. I don't think we're going to catch them. Well. Did we catch them? Nope, didn't catch them. Didn't catch them. Get them coming out the half. All right, but but what I was saying though, going up, going up with Caldwell did just a. a, a had seven, Jordan Bruner had four, Javondi Myers two, D'Angelo Ward four, total of 27 points for the Spring Valley Vikings. Over on the other side, Derek Polk, Derek Polk had four, Nigel Chaney three, no I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong, uh, reading the wrong numbers. Nigel Chaney six, JFD eight, Alec Caldwell five, Deshaun Brockington, he had two, and Iman Good had one. And that'll be 22 points for the Richland Northeast High School. We're going to take a quick break here at the Chick-fil-A Classic.
Benning. Getting ready for second half action. Well, while you guys are checking us out on the sports utility vehicle, here we go. Back at it. Second Spring half. Valley ball. Start of the second half. Northy comes back out in his 2-3 again. I, think, I don't think they're going to go in that, uh, anything else but that 2-3. Like a little bit Syracuse going on here. Yes, sir. 2-3 zone. Hey, have, a, have a little bit of a height advantage for this Spring Valley team. Spring Valley has some sticks out there. Yeah. Long three Long. ball. No good. Tipped around. Bruner. Oh, good pass, Bruner. Oh, Polk. Strong yeah, rebound by Polk. Bruner, I, I like his court awareness, man. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You exactly. know, but one thing about him, you know, he he's a senior, and he, you know he was playing on he was playing with um, Perry Dozier Jr. PJ PJ Dozier Jr. Yep. And he was second fiddle, you know, most of his career. Exactly. But sometimes, you know, you kind of want the guy to kind of be a, you know, be a jerk. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, you, you need you need your star player to be a jerk, and that's that's kind of what. That's what I'm waiting on. That's that's exactly what I'm waiting on from from uh from Mr. Bruner, from the older Bruner, Jonah Bruner. I kind of want him to take over and say this is my team. When it comes down to me, I'm going to make sure this whole offense goes through me. That you know, even though he missed that shot, that's what I want him to take. Let me tell you what I want him to do. I want him to get the oh, that's, that's a good block. That's there, a good block. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's his size advantage there though. That's the big kid on the playground. Nice lay in by Harper. But you know what though? He That's shot the Harper. shot and came back Just down and hustled out. down court to make the defense to You're make right. the block on defense. You're right. I think I want Bruner to do that right there. Get the rebound, yeah. push it out. <laughs> Ooh. I want to get the ball in. And you know how you get that smack on the ball? Yeah. I want to smack the ball, give me a power dribble, and go up strong. Go That's up what strong. I want. I want one of those moves. But uh, if he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it. I want to see that out the, out the big man. Exactly. Caldwell being guarded by Wall. Caldwell kick it off. It'll go out of bounds, and it'll be Spring Valley ball. That short corner shot, that should be a shot you can make all with your eyes closed. That you, short corner. You know what, though? One thing about the three-pointer, you know, a lot of these kids are just totally relying on it, mm -hmm. and that mid-range jumper is gone. <laughs> exactly. There you go, strong take to the hole. Good go rebound. Up again. Oh, there goes Wall. Harper will corral it. Mm -hmm. They'll move it around. Bruna fakes it in the corner. Bruna goes to the hole. I like it. No good. Got to make those bunnies. And there's Brockerton. Good lay, Brockerton. Nice lay in. Brockerton, assist from Cheney. I take that foul there. Yeah, that's a nice I foul by the big. And you know one thing I like, you know, maybe it's wrong of me to like that. You know, mm -hmm. if somebody this goes to the hole, make make sure they go down. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> make sure they think about going to the hole the next time. Exactly. Give, give them something to remember me about. Exactly. You know, I was told, I said, you got five fouls. Use them. Oh, exactly. Make them count. Whenever my big man comes to the locker room at the end of the game and he doesn't have any foul, you must didn't play. You must didn't play. <laughs> At all. Kendall Wall shoots it short. Okay, Let's get it out to Caldwell. Caldwell will push it up court. Chaney back to Caldwell. Caldwell stepped on the line again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that false step trying to make that move before you get the ball. You got to know where you are on the, on the court. Mm-hmm. Five-point lead for Spring Valley, 29, 26, I mean, 24. The pace of the game is really in Spring Valley's favor. It, it's, I think Northeast needs to push the ball more. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of game they play, like I said. Nice lay in right there by Brockington, the two-handed tap on the backboard. When Northeast is pushing the ball there in their game speed, Spring Valley slowing it up like they're doing now. That's going more in this in this, to their comfort zone, like Whoa. I said. Pretty shot by D'Angelo Ward. Ward. Ward knocks down the pretty three-point. Turnover. Nice lay-in by D'Angelo. Ward. 
Yeah. Got him with the body. Yeah, hustle. That's a hustle foul. Hustle foul. Like I said, the high pace game with Northeast is first. in their favor. When you slow it up, Spring Valley is going to be able to work it through. They got more size than Spring Valley right now. Don't have a name for that young guy. Number 34 just got in the game. No, so I don't think we had a name for him at the big scrimmage. <laughs> no. Same kid. Same kid. We'll figure it out before the night goes on. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. The uh, high school league will figure it out. There you go. <laughs> I'll tell you, one way to make everybody learn your name is to put the ball in the hole. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. D'Angelo Ward on the line. He's off. Tough night well, shooting from the free throw line, line for Spring Valley. Mm -hmm. Third and one line. comes in for, for Jordan Bruner. Who is that? Noah Guyton. Sophomore. Now, with Bruna being out the game, I would think Northeast would try to attack that middle some right now. And you know, that's as soon as you say it, straight to the middle. That's what I want to see. Power see. move on the inside. That was smart basketball. As soon as your big man go out, let's go to the middle. Let's get him back in the game then. Again, now they're getting rebounds. Now they're pushing again. Full of Davis. No good. Gardner with the rebound. Let's feed it back to the big man. I want to see Paul with it on the inside oh, again. There we go at three again. No good. You got to feed what you just had going. Mm-hmm. Nice lay in by Noah. Noah Guyton just came in for Bruner. Nice good, move. Gardner good. lay in with the assist from JFD. Andre Gardner. Jump ball. Who? Yes, D'Angelo Ward nice. knocks it down. Doja calls a timeout in the elegant suit he has going on him. over there. <laughs> Co Coach Doja, well dressed guy over there. Oh, yeah. He's going to stay dressed. He's going to stay dressed. Blue Cross Blue Shield, South Carolina National Guard, and BSN Sports. Thanks to all of them so very much for their kind contributions to make this tournament a reality. Well, we got a final score from the other gym over there. Final score, 73-61. 73-61, Cardinal Newman does not pull it off. Cardinal Newman does not pull it off. They were beat by, um, trying to get the name of Rocky. Rocky River. Rocky River High School out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Nice school, Rocky River, also. I've been there. Okay. Nice school. We're off the 485 bypass. Gardner. Nice yeah. lay in. Lay in. The basket by Andre Gardner. Inside points when your big man goes out. Inside points. And you know, that's move on well, Coach Team. You take, <laughs> you take out the guy who's 6'9, go and attack the basket when exactly. he's not in the game. Exactly. And you know, that's what happened that in the first half when Richland Northeast took the oh, the Nice steal right there. Don't finish. Good finish. Cheney. Nigel Cheney. Four point game. And now look who's up <laughs> about to get in the game. <laughs> you know it. That's not his game. Nice rebound, no good. Harper on the follow, in and out. Harper, one more time. It's somebody get on the floor. D'Angelo Ward to the lane, lays it in. Lays it in. D'Angelo Ward for the basket. 
Three ball. Nice. Brockington. Brockington three. To Sean Brockington knocks it down. Three point game. Hopper blocked by Brockington. Hopper stays with it. Way to finish. Brock, get that out of here. There we go. That's the inside presence that Northeast me Green Valley needed. Wall got him. I mean, he got away with one there. Huh? Brockington will push it up court. Has Cheney on the wing. Fakes it, gives it to him. Nice lay in. Yes. That's how you have to execute the two on one fast break. Exactly. Three point game here. Chick fil A. 9.50 left. Second half. Harper wants to see him come out that man, out, out of that zone. He wants a little man here, huh? There you go. Stay with that zone. Good pass. Corner Wide open Harper. from the corner. Chain in the rebound. Gardner to Brockton, back to Gardner. Gardner to Floater. Strong rebound. I think he could have passed that one more time, though. I think Gardner shot is a straight set shot. Tapping around. Oh. Follow. We're going to find out his name. What's his name? Tested by Axel Alicia. Axel Alicia. They had him listed number as 10. number 10 in our playbook, but yes, he's sir. number Axel. 34. Three ball, no good. Brought down by good. Get it back to Brockington. Brockington yeah. to the hole and lays it in. Tyshawn Brockington. I know his name because I coached him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Tyshawn Brockington. That's his first personal foul. Brockington will shoot one. I can say with the lineup they got in now, and Bruno coming in, I would still attack the inside. Oh, yeah. I would still attack it. I, I would still attack it. Bruno had three fouls, well, two fouls, I believe, uh, right now going into eight you minutes know. of the game. You know, you still, you know, I always feel you attack the inside. It's all, it's a lot easier to hit a shot two feet away <laughs> exactly. than 15 feet away. Exactly. You got to make that free throw, Brock. Oh. You got to by itself. Oh, ah. nice. Pull up. JMD. One point game. Sound like the junkyard dog. <laughs> <laughs> JYD. They'll move it around. No good. Over the back foul. I, I just, I got to see him go above the rim right there, yeah. man. Right there. You, I, I got to see that. 6 9. He got to go above the rim right there. Got to go above the rim. That's part of the 6 9. That's part of a D1 player. Mm -hmm. Establish, establishing yourself as the, the top dog of the game. And I think, especially when you're the biggest man on the court, Garner in the inside. Oh, the little inside man. play. Basketball, Andre Garner. Down one. Oh, they're up one. I'm sorry. Northeast taking the lead now. Yep. Northeast up by one. Anton has a good vision. I'm getting old. <laughs> I got my sticks on. Good pass. Nice lay in by, been a foul there too. by Alicia. Good pass. Alicia. Oh. Don't run from the ball, young man. A little out of control, Northeast was. Now, you know, you go watch college games. You know, they play the 20 minute half. At the end of eight minutes, you know, you're going to get TV timeout. <laughs> if I was a coach right now, we'd we'll call it timeout. All your time out, let your team think about yeah. it. Under the eight, under the four, you know, a little TV time out here and there. We'll work it around. Young Bruner will have it on the wing. Trying, oh, to, a trying to get it in, trying to get foul it inside the Javon D. Myers. Be a foul every time. Four. Go across the back, that'd be a foul every time. That's his second. But you know, I, I like the young guy, uh, Derek Polk. Yeah. I like him, young guy, 6'6", six, six, nice frame on him. Look like he can play tight end for somebody. Yeah. Looks like he 
It'll be a heck of a tight end out oh, there, yeah. a defensive oh, yeah. end. Yes, sir. But uh, he's a big body in the post, big presence in the post, man. I, I like the work he's doing. He's not scoring much. Hey, he's a presence, though. He's a presence. He's a presence. That's what you need. You need a presence down there. When you're playing against a 6'9 player, you need a presence. Watching him now, he's moving around. He has his arms out. He got his, oh, he's getting almost, almost a turnover. turnover. Three ball, Bruner. No good. Same team. Oh, you're out by yourself, buddy. No layup, no good. Over the back. JFD, time. you got to make that layup, buddy. Got to make that layup. And that's one of the things I, I like when you're laying it up to use your body to shield off that, that defender coming from behind you. That's one of those things you got to kind of extend out. Exactly, and, exactly. And use your body. Lucas over there trying to, <laughs> trying to get his call. Trying to get it. That's what I like. I like a coach who's going to work for his team. Yes, sir. And I think, you know, the referees that we have here, they, they got a good staff here. Referees, they got probably the best referees you got in the Midlands. Get this crew here. Oh, Bruno got a good call. Call well and push it foul. up. Yes, I thought that was a foul. No shot. Side note on one of the referees, he's a uh, sled sniper. Wow. <laughs> so he has an eye for everything. <laughs> he can see it. <laughs> He can definitely see. <laughs> he has an eye for it. You know, that's one thing I like. I like, you know, with, with high school sports and stuff, you, these refs aren't full-time refs. You know, yes, they, have, they have other jobs and other lives out yes, here. Yes, sir. He's a sled sniper. So he, he, he's definitely not the one you want to talk to in the parking lot after the game. Exactly. <laughs> I made sure I knew him. <laughs> Good floater. Uh, off. Harper will push it, trying to draw the charge. No good. Nice body control yeah, by Harper. Nice Harper. No good. No good. Hawk fighting down there. He doesn't get it. Harper gets again. Harper will push it up court in the corner. Jumper. No good. Got a box out. Well, they got lucky. Let's see what Chaney does. Chaney will try to set it up. Give it over Garner. to Gardner. Move it over to Brockington. 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 I, guess, I guess I taught him that. Tie ball game. I think I taught him that, Sly. You taught him that. Yeah. Good, good coaching. Yeah, great coaching. <laughs> good shot, Brockington. Now he's back in at 2 3. Good game we got here. 48 48. Harper with the spin move oh, off the backboard. Nice. Hey, say I told him that. Go, Harper. Well, Northeast in. being here, you know, it's kind of home cooking. They know all the good spots. That's it. You know the good spots on the court. And let's see if we got another good spot. So, oh, no good. They know that spot. JFD's kind of slowed down a little bit from yeah, that first yeah. half. Kick it over on the wing, jumper, no good. Pope will get good, the rebound. Chaney will push oh. it. Garner running with his head down. <laughs> Got to be ready. Got to be, Got to be ready. ready. Got to have your eyes up, man. Got to be have your eyes on the ball. That's the most important thing on the court, right? All right. Got Tommy Bruner bringing it up, number one. Tommy Bruner, that's the younger Bruner. The younger Bruner will bring it up court. He'll kick it over to the side. Ward will have it, wait on that pick. Kick it out to Noah Harper. Harper, I like the young guy. He's an athlete. Bruner have it on the wing one more time. Pick from Big Brother. Ward thinks about it. Throws it up. Oh, off the backboard. Banker. The bank Rebound was open. By Ward. Oh, there we go. Northeast turnover. Time for I think they need a TO right here. I need to calm your boys down. Getting young Caldwell in back in the game. Alex Caldwell. The unconscious Caldwell. Unconscious. Oh, 
No good. Broner with the power oh, dribble. He wanted to throw go. it down. That's what man. I need to see from him, though. Even you know, though he missed it. He missed it, but I want to see That's that. That's what I want to see from Broner. On the inside. And one. Almost got the and one bucket. The power, the power move I just saw from Bruno, that's what I need to see from him. Exactly. On a consistent basis. Four-point game here, Spring Valley up, 52-48. Four minutes left here in the Chick-fil-A Classic. Let's see what Bruno does from the free throw line. Nice stroke. Knocks it down. One shot. Nice crowd, nice crowd here in the Chick fil A Classic. Yeah, we are at capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Night one. Night one sold out house. No foul. Brockington thinks about it, gives it to Cheney. Cheney, no good. Harper will bring it down. Ward, push it up. Ward, oh, Ward lay it in off the backboard. Soft touch off that Soft yeah, touch off the glass. Get it to Pope. Pope. Oh. No good, but he'll go to the line and shoot too. Now, now, right there, that move right there. Next year, okay. Pope don't, Pope's going to catch that in the stride and throw it down to yeah, him. He's going to put it on somebody's head. He's going to put that on somebody's head next year. <laughs> he's young. He's you. a sophomore. I believe you. He's getting that coordination down with that big body. Yep. Oh, the, the backboard. backboard. Did he, call, he called it. <laughs> I guess he did. He called it, so it's good. They told me that square was painted back there for a reason. You're exactly right. We'll stay down here. It'll be northeast ball. Timeout. Now, now, Timeout on the play. The first game tonight over at the auxiliary gym. Rocky River out of We're going to go to a quick commercial break. Cardinal Newman is 73 to 63. Get it, Caldwell or have it. Caldwell going to the hole, dishing it off. Jump ball. No and, ball. And that right there, um, Anton, don't call it jump ball. Now that's the one, that's one of the things about high school ball that I do not like. Yep, Caldwell yep. to the hole. Bruno the Ward lays it in for two. Angelo Ward. The jump ball in high school, I, I don't like the I don't like the alternating possessions. Yeah, that, that is one of the things that, you know, high school can be high school and college can get away with. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice J F D. Shoots that little James soft jumper. Is. Bruno will bring it back out, trying to draw Northeast out of that zone. Yeah, well for seven point lead, you want them to come out of that zone. <laughs> if they don't, yeah, well, we just running seven, seven minutes off. Get two minutes off. This is a decision they have to make now, Northeast. 
He come out that zone now. Will we man up? Yeah, I think they're manning up. Cause you you in attack mode now. If you're northeast, oh nice move. spin no move and finish. Ooh. Good finish. And he finished. Good finish. No Harper. Out of control. Out of control. Gotta be Almost under control, down. young man. And the caliber is number three. Alex Caldwell, that is his fifth personal foul. And that'll be five fouls on young Alex Caldwell. He'll mm. come out of the game. And you know that, he got five fouls, well. and I and think three of them up. were charges. <laughs> I think three so. of them were offensive. He had two in the first first half and three half. And I think all were, were charges. All were good, they were charges. You gotta be able to control your body. You gotta, you gotta know how to do that step around. They call it player control foul. Oh. Oh, trying to clear out some room down there. Myers, call they'll call it up. You know, this has been the most <laughs> offensive fouls I've seen <laughs> called in one game. Yeah, you're right. They'll send it back over the top. <laughs> Northeast has it in the chain. Of the Gardner. On the right wing up the Brock at the top. Chain it to the left. JFD. Oh, no the three. Pump. Strong rebound by Paul. I think he got his way with one step there. <laughs> <laughs> but they called a foul there. The Vikings, number 23, Jordan Bruner. You know, I, I like I like him. He, he's a sophomore. He's young. But I see a bright future ahead he's for this young guy, foul. man. You know, basically because of his frame. You know, he has the frame. Yep. You know, he may grow one or two more inches. Well, I don't right. know. You're exactly right. But if he but if he learns to use that frame and he keeps that same aggressiveness that he has, mm -hmm. I see a, a bright future for the young man. The well, one thing I can say about being a sophomore, violation, one or two ways you're going to go. Mm -hmm. Either going to play all the sports or you're going to specialize in something. Mm -hmm. What is he going to specialize in, Sly? I'm a football guy at heart. <laughs> you, you, you know I'm a football guy. <laughs> At heart. <laughs> I'm one of those football guys who believes he's a basketball player. <laughs> at, at the 4A, 3A level, you can specialize. 2A and down, you ain't no specialize. You ain't no specialize. You need them numbers. You need them numbers. You need those numbers. <laughs> you might be the starting point That's guard, but that means you're the starting yeah. receiver. <laughs> <laughs> exactly hold right. The, hold the football team. <laughs> <laughs> starting receiver, that means you're starting post player. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but at the 3A, 4A level, you can start well, specializing well, things. And that, that's one of the well, things that get to a lot of coaches here, though, Ward, that's where third. you have the football coach pulling at them, then you have the basketball coach pulling at them, the bonus, then you have shots. the outside trainers pulling at them. Exactly. It's a lot of influence that go in these kids' heads, man, that they kind of lose interest in the game. Exactly, exactly. You know, I guess that's well, one of the things saying. about about me playing on a smaller level in high school. Exactly. I, I could do it all. Exactly. You know, because, I mean, true, I was a super <laughs> athlete. One of the greatest athletes to ever come through the city of Columbia. Yep, there you go. You know. <laughs> a couple of letter winners in different sports. Gardner tries to get in there. He'll get a steal. Oh. oh. Got in, hey. in your face action here. Right here on the sideline. He wanted to get on the camera. Three-pointer from the corner. Brockton got away with a push-off. They'll get it back. Underneath, lay oh, on, no good. JFD will yeah, get it back. Chaney from the three. Chaney, no good. And letting them go now. Minute, got a foul where you can't uh. get the ball up if you're right here. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're going to foul, make sure he can't get those hands up because that should have been, been a three-point play. Should have been a three-point play. If you want to foul, can't let that ball go above the shoulders. Go ahead and get the foul. You know, you'd rather give him a tip the foul instead of getting an easy three-point bucket. Make him earn that One line. Three-point is off for, uh, who is that, 32, Myers. Yep, Javon D. Myers, senior. He'll knock it down. <laughs> Gardner kicks it over to Brockton. Brockton goes to the hole. That's 6'9 down there, Brockton. He's, he's having a block party. See if they'll give it up. No. 
He'll, <laughs> he'll push it on in, <laughs> D'Angelo Ward. <laughs> That's one of the things you want to talk about in the locker room later. Oh, nice pass. Nice lay in. Yeah, my There's no award. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. He caught him, boy. No. <laughs> Not <laughs> Noah Harper throws it down. And look, look at all the Spring Valley guys. They're kind of cherry picking now. <laughs> Got 24 seconds left here. Everybody hanging around that half court. Let's see Noah Harper <laughs> throw it down. <laughs> He's caught the cherry pick fest now. In the face. Look at, look at the 12. He's fucking out. <laughs> He's sneaking out, looking for the alley. No. Layup. No good. Myers will go to the line. It, it tickles me, man. <laughs> you know, everybody, they, they hear that. Da -da 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 -da. They want, they they want to get it. it. <laughs> they heard the roar just now. Oh, I'm, I'm, I play defense for two seconds. If they get past me, I'm chicken out. <laughs> outlet, outlet. <laughs> I'm sneaking out. I'm yeah. sneaking out. Yes, sir. I'm the outlet man, coach. <laughs> Cherry picker. I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got my first dunk chair picker. There you go. Mike Hook passed to me. Great Mike Hook. <laughs> <laughs> Long three chaining. No good. Brockington will corral it 12 down. Has, 12 hasn't came across half with yet. a three. <laughs> <laughs> D'Angelo <laughs> stayed in half court the whole time. <laughs> That's what you call a main man cherry picker. <laughs> Gotta love it. That was my favorite style of defense. Hey. <laughs> I'm watching. He's out again. Brockington, no good. Brock, get it out of here. Jordan Bruner ends the game like he's been That's doing it all game. Yeah. Six nine. He's six nine. Well. First game in the main gym is in the books. The score is 66 57. 66 57. Spring Valley on top. We'll see you back here in probably about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, to watch Hammond take on Mullins here at the Chick fil A Classic.